Hello class and welcome back again for another art lesson with me, Miss Robertson. Today we are learning how printmaking works, how to print and what a print looks like. You're going to need some interesting items from your recycling bin or perhaps some things from home that you'll be able to wash paint off of. Here are some famous prints. The this first print is the Great Wave of Kanagawa. And the second print is an image of Marilyn Monroe. This is by the artist Andy Warhol. Today's artist is called Harriet Popham. Harriet Popham is based in Somerset in England and her work is informed by travel and also her family's background in farming. She often finds inspiration from her very own back garden. Once we've drawn and cut out our lino, it's now time to use a roller with a mixture of ink and paint and load up the printing surface. We put a lot of pressure between the paper and the print and rub really hard, sometimes with a little round tool or a printing roller with two big cylinders that squeeze the print and the paper together. Harriet Popham has had lots of exciting jobs working with hotels and creating her own colouring books. She's also worked with a few museums. So Harriet works primarily in vinyl, so most of the time she works in this material. You might have something similar in your kitchen or your bathroom. It's a bendy and thick and very hard wearing material. It's great for carving out and using for printing. I'm using a styrofoam takeaway tub. Now we can't recycle these, so the best I can do is reuse it. And when we're making a print like this, I can use this again and again, and I can wash it to change the colour. Now, unlike with drawing, the area that we carve out isn't going to be where the lines are, it's going to be where the lines aren't. I'm working on a mountainscape here. I'm feeling really inspired by all of the snow at the moment. And I want to make sure that I carve out the top of those mountains so that it doesn't touch the paper and it leaves me with nice white snowy caps on my mountains. And I've added a few birds because I always think that looks good. Now I'm using leftover paint pots from painting my house but you could use poster paint or acrylic paint, anything that you have at home. I'm putting this onto poly wallet here and spreading it out with a paintbrush. We would normally use a roller for printing but I don't have that and it works just as well for what we're doing to use a paintbrush. I'm using the back of a spoon to make sure it gets into all of the areas and I'm turning it over onto my paper using the spoon again to make sure we get enough pressure and it makes a really clear print. Hooray! So next I'm using a little bit of yellow paint and a cork, twisting it and twisting it to give me a beautiful yellow sunshine in my sky. Now for the next step I'm taking some bubble wrap and I want this to look like a forest of trees below my mountain. using the spoon once more, peeling it off. This is my finished artwork. Make sure to upload a picture of your art to the online classroom and I can't wait to see what you create. 